So here in the United States, our construction industry is um, dominated by wood construction, what's called stick frame construction. And most houses are built with a two by four framing. And if you really look at it, it's like building a house with match sticks and cardboard. So when it comes to fire resistance of your home, you're basically living in a cardboard box in a conventional modern American home. So this is what happens to your house in the event of a fire. Now, why would you live in something that catches flame like this as compared to a cob house? I could hold this here all day. It's not going to do anything to my cob wall. Whereas this is going to turn into dust very quickly. So, to put it simply, cob does not burn. There is straw inside of cob, but there's no air inside a cob wall, so the straw can't burn. So if I held a flame up to this cob wall, it could burn off these little pieces of straw sticking out of the wall, but it's not going to penetrate into that cob wall and burn any of that straw inside the wall. Now, even if it did burn some of that straw, that's inside the cob wall, your cob wall is not going to fall down. The cob is load bearing without the straw. So there's no uh, danger to um, the structural integrity of a cob wall when it comes to fire. So I've done my own personal fire tests with cob. There have been actual legitimate professional fire rating tests and if you want to read about that definitely get this book uh, this is a new Cobb construction book co-authored by Anthony Dente and actually on page uh, let's see page 35 it talks about fire safety in regards to Cobb and they did a fire rating safety test with two test Cobb walls which passed and uh, is now part of the 2024 IRC Cobb code. Cobb has passed the two hour fire rating test. So um, what they did with the Cobb wall test was they put a 2000 degree Fahrenheit um, burner right up against the Cobb wall for two hours and then they stopped the fire, they put compression on the top of the cob wall, and then they blasted the cob wall with a fire hose for two minutes. And so in the end of that whole test, the cob walls had no damage structurally, maybe just a little bit of aesthetic damage on the surface, but that's nothing structural. So. The cob walls passed the two hour fire rating test with flying uh, high marks. So it's been proven. I mean, it's, it's very simple. Earth doesn't burn, but the tests have actually been done now. So we know cob does not burn. And um, this also applies to Adobe because cob and Adobe are the same material, just in a different methodology of construction. This also applies to rammed earth. So if you want to build a house that is safe against fire, cob is a great way to go. It's the closest thing to building with stone or concrete, but it has um, a lot of great advantages over those two materials. So the only things that could really burn in a cob house predominantly are the roof because the roof is mostly or usually it's made of wood um, but if you put either slate or tiles or metal roofing on the exterior surface of the roof that'll help protect your roof a lot 
it's mostly um, that air that comes under the soffits and up into the ceiling and the roof. That's where you want to be careful in the case of a fire, like a wildfire or something, because those sparks could get up into your roof that way. So it's not to say a cob house is completely fireproof, but your chances of that house surviving a fire are far, far greater than a conventional stick frame modern American home.